we have another exciting video. I mean, definitely exciting for me, hopefully exciting for you, but it is another Suzanne unboxing. <laughs> It's been about six months since I shopped from Cezanne and considering how often I was ordering from them over the past couple of years, I feel like that was a bit of a dry spell. But I placed not only one, but two orders with Cezanne. So this is going to be a rather beefy unboxing. There are a few things that I had had on my radar for some time and I get asked from a lot of you to try particular pieces. If you are new to me, then hello, I'm Virginia and I am petite, I'm 5'2". I typically wear a UK Australian size 8, a US 2 to 4. Hopefully that helps you in using me as a point of reference as I try on all of the pieces. But I definitely selected a lot of the Cezanne classics to try. And I think it's obvious that I'm a fan of the brand, but I really like shopping from Cezanne because I think it epitomizes that French chic, but it makes it accessible and you can easily integrate it into a classic wardrobe. And it's not like cosplay French. French chic doesn't necessarily mean that you pop on a beret and you hold a baguette around contrary to other style guides. And so we have two boxes to get through. A lot of these pieces are Cezanne's greatest hits. Some of these pieces I have never tried before. Some of these pieces I already have in my wardrobe in other colors. And so let's just get cracking, shall we? Let's just grab the top one. And as you can see, none of these boxes have been opened. This is a live reaction video for you, just to keep the drama and the suspense going. Meanwhile, I placed these orders very close together because after placing my first order, I still had so many things on my wish list and I just thought, you know, why not? Free returns, hence the pile of boxes. I'm not intending to keep everything, but having said that, with the way that Suzanne pieces are, I'm probably gonna have a lot of trouble working out when I'm gonna keep and when I'm gonna return. Okay, first box, here we go. This is how it looks on the inside, wrapped in tissue paper. Oh, okay, this is exciting. I'm not gonna go in any particular order. I'm just gonna grab the first item. I'm gonna try it on. I'm gonna share our honest thoughts. The first piece is their trench coat. This is the Scott trench coat. This one constantly appears on their top 30 list. It constantly appears in a lot of people's favorites from Cezanne. Now I have my fair share of high street trench coats. I've got one from Marks and Spencer that I really love wearing. I've got one from Mango. So I don't have a need for a trench coat. However, I wanted to compare the Cezanne trench coat to the others just to see how it fares. Already, I can feel like it is quite a weighty style. I wonder whether it offers that water repellent quality that my trench coats have in my collection. But I mean, it looks very well cut. It's got all of the qualities that you would expect from a trench coat too. All of the buckles, the really beautiful buttons, it's lined as well. I got myself a size 36, which is the equivalent of a UK 8 and a US 4. I find with Suzanne that that is typically my size. I quite like how the belt is quite thick on this one. And there are buttons here on the back vent, which actually make it look very high end and high quality. So, wow, okay, first impressions are very good. The high street versions that I have in my wardrobe do not offer the same sort of detail. So let us see whether the Scott Trench agrees with me. Okay, so I've just thrown the coat on without any zhuzhing. I just wanted to show you what it looked like before I fix up the sleeves. Okay, I've now pushed up the sleeves. Here's another look at it. Oh, guys I really like this one it is a great cut really nice and oversized sticking with my usual size the fabric is top-notch it is definitely a lot more structured than my Marks and Spencer coat which I absolutely love this one has a really rich sort of camel tone too, whereas my Marks and Spencer one is a little bit on the lighter side, like a beige one. But this one is just a really thoughtfully designed coat. Perfect for the upcoming autumn season. The length is great as well on me. The arms are a tad long and there are no smaller buttonholes. So that's something that I would probably have to get done by the tailor just so that I could cuff them. But I typically wear my trench coats pushed up to my elbows anyway, just like this, because I feel like it just looks a little bit more effortless. But this is it. It's really, really nice, isn't it? Really, really digging it. And I'm just wearing it with my Cezanne top, a pair of my favorite jeans and these fisherman sandals. And I look totally put together, like I've got my life all sorted. Yeah, what do you guys think? Okay. 
Okay, we've got a tried and true favorite of mine, which I'm sure you'll recognize if you've watched my previous Suzanne unboxings. It is the Betty cardigan in pink. I am embracing a lot more color these days. I have a pink blazer also from Suzanne that I love wearing. And I find that it pairs really well with navies and a lot of the colors that I have in my wardrobe. I really love the Betty style. And I think that the Barbie movie is also a contributing factor into my love of pink. I've just embraced it more and given it a try. I really love the Betty cardigan style it's a really nice cropped style very petite friendly I always get myself a size extra small and every time I'm browsing a Betty cardigan I always think I should get myself a neutral color like the ecru color or a navy color but then I'm always tempted by one of the pops of colors I just find that they do color so well as you can see I succumbed again so yeah let me give this one a go I typically wear the Betty cardigans as tops like I don't wear them as a traditional cardigan with the buttons undone let's pop this one on and let's see what we think cute is this? I like this one too. I think that it is so sweet and I think the length is perfect on me. The sleeves are great too. I haven't rolled them up. That's just the style of the cuff. I think this is such a nice color. The Betty cardigan is made of merino wool and so it feels really top-notch quality. It's really easy to maintain as well. That's been my experience with the other Betty cardigans that I have in my wardrobe. I've styled this one as a top with my jeans. These cardigans are so versatile. You can style them with your tailored trousers and with white denim for smart casual work that's what I like to do with my other Betty cardigans very very nice I think I'm gonna struggle in this order to work out what I'm gonna send back okay. next up I've got one of their basic tops this is the Conrad t-shirt just a basic crew neck tee in navy in a size small now if you have been following along with me for a while then you will know that I love Arquette crew neck t-shirts they are my absolute favorite crew neck t-shirts for the past four years now I would say maybe even five years I think that they are an excellent cotton crew neck tee and I wanted to compare the Cezanne version to see how I felt because I feel like I've been a bit of a one-trick pony with my crew neck t-shirts I wanted to see whether or not this one is a good quality one as well. This one's quite a pricey one. This one is $55 Australian. The Arquette crew neck tees are roughly $26 Australian, so it's double in price. And you know, first impressions, I don't know whether the quality quite lives up to the Arquette t-shirt. The cotton fabric on the Arquette t-shirts is really soft and silky, whereas this one feels quite soft. I'm not sure whether I'm getting longevity vibes from it. I feel like it would get old quite quickly with a couple of washes. I don't know, if you have a Conrad t-shirt or any of Suzanne's t-shirts, then let me know how you found it with ongoing maintenance. That's sort of how I'm feeling at the moment with this one, but I do like how it is a more boxy and oversized fit. And so let me pop this one on and let me share with you how I feel once it is on my person. Okay, so the t-shirt is now on and I'm not blown away by it. I think that the cut is great. I think the length is perfect, particularly when you want to sort of tuck it in, which is what I typically do with my t-shirts, but I don't see the value in its price tag. I don't think that it's worth $55, particularly when I've got a whole wardrobe full of Arquette t-shirts. I definitely think that the Arquette t-shirt is the better option at half the price, but I mean, it is a great crew neck t-shirt. You can't go wrong with a crew neck t-shirt in my opinion, but there's nothing special about it that would warrant you rushing out and buying this, if you get what I mean. I'm glad that I've given this a go though, because I have given a few of their basic tees and tanks to try. I think some of them are great, particularly their racerback tank, but the Cotton Crew, I think I've now satisfied my curiosity. Yeah, it's good, but it's not like amazing. The last piece that I have from this particular order is a shirt. This is their Max shirt, which has a really nice oversized vibe about it. I don't think you can go wrong with a blue striped shirt, and I like how you can sort of dress them both up and down. This one has a really nice summery quality about it to the fabric. It feels like a cotton linen-y blend, but let me just double check that. Yes, 70% cotton, 30% linen blend. I got my usual size, a size UK 8, French 36, US 4, because the size guide said that it is an oversized cut. Because typically in my button up shirts, I size up because I really like that oversized sort of rolled up sleeves, chilled vibe. I like to channel that chill, even though inside I'm like, you know how it is. Dress for the emotional state that you want, not the emotional state that you are. 
wise words. Anyway, this is the first time that I am trying a shirt from Cezanne and so I am excited to see how this one goes, but it looks like it could be a real success. such a good shirt you guys the fabric is great i love the oversized cut of it the sleeves aren't too long the stripe is perfect this is a great shirt i've just worn it untucked as you can see and i quite like just how it looks in this relaxed sort of outfit but i can also probably tuck this one in i'm not gonna do it now just sort of like mimic it like that and it looks a little bit more elevated as you can see. The fabric is really soft, it's really lovely and I like that it doesn't seem as high maintenance, like it doesn't require a proper iron. I've just put this on straight out of the box and I think that it works, whereas a lot of other shirts that I have in my wardrobe you need to like properly iron it before you use it. I feel like this is a little bit less maintenance than that. I really like the the colour in this. I really like the stripe. I've got an old sort of striped blue shirt from Scanlan Theodore in my wardrobe that's looking a little bit worse for wear now. So I have been hunting for a blue striped shirt. I feel like this is the one. I'm really, really pleased with it. It's great. Okay, so that's the first box. They've even thrown in a little tote bag from their collaboration with Pangea. Look at that really cute. Suzanne sometimes do that. They sometimes throw in little gifts with purchase. Very, very sweet, as you can see. Moving on to the next box now. These were the things that remained in my mind that prompted the second order within an hour of the first order. Again, wrapped in tissue paper. Okay, we have another Mariniere top. There are many different styles on their website. I'm currently wearing one at the moment that I've had now for the past couple of years and I've really enjoyed it. And I wanted to try out another one of their styles just to see what it was like because they have so many different options. The boat neckline seems really sweet. It's got more of an oversized vibe to it. And there are buttons on the side here as opposed to buttons on the neckline on my one here. This one is in a size extra small, a very oversized cut. If I'm honest, it's giving coast still grandma vibes nautical style with white chinos that type of vibe let's just let's just see how it looks okay so it's probably not as coastal grandma as i thought it would be but it still does feel quite mumsy i think with the length that it hits me here it's not a top that you can necessarily tuck in easily because it's got these button details on both sides. I think it looks quite nice with these slim jeans, but I'm not feeling particularly stylish. Like I feel rather practical. You know, there is a place for pieces like this in my wardrobe, but I probably wouldn't look to Cezanne for pieces like that. But having said that, the fit is quite good. And I stuck with an extra small and the sleeves are a good length. Yeah, the top is nice, but it's not amazing. And so this is one that I will probably send back. Keen to hear what you guys think, whether or not you would style it the way that I have. I mean, I'm stuck with the same pair of jeans and sandals in this entire try-on just because, you know, if it doesn't go with wardrobe staples, then what else would it go with, really? A few fluffy bits on this next item, just straight out of the box. I don't know whether you can see. It's like little bits of cardboard or something. I bought this dress. This is the Susanna dress, I believe. I got myself a size small in the black. This one is a ribbed knit dress. I've been really digging ribbed knit dresses lately. My favorite ones are from Romain Berger Christensen. I feel like the silhouette is really lovely. It sort of is really flattering, particularly if you're a pear shaped like me, particularly ones that are more of an A-line cut, which this dress seems to be. feel like this is super long. I mean, I'm holding it up now and it's hitting my ankles, but I know that that's not an accurate way to assess length. So we will see when I pop it on my body. But this one is made of, let me just get the fabric composition for you. This one's made of 100% organic cotton. It's got sort of that mock neckline as well. So yeah, let me try this one on. I think length is going to be my biggest concern. Let's see how it goes. The length is actually okay on this one. It's actually ideal. It hits just above my ankles and so it doesn't make me look too short. 
and I really love the style. I think the style is really sophisticated. The arms fit really nicely. If anything, they could probably be a bit slimmer. I did take a size small in this one and I do typically wear a size extra small in their knitwear just because I am pear shaped and so I have a larger size down in my bottom half and so I went with the size of my bottom half just to accommodate and provide a little bit more room. But I really love the neckline. I think that it is so chic and so sophisticated and because it's made of 100% cotton it would be ideal for the transitional seasons I mean we've got autumn coming up and I can definitely see myself wearing this it's probably a little bit too dressy for the office even though it's so simple I'm really really pleased with this one great length as well if you are a fellow shorty like me We have a skirt next. This is the Sandy skirt, which looks like a dupe of the Reformation skirt that everyone was just crazy about a few years ago. But I love myself a sheeny midi skirt. I love wearing them to work. I have a fair few from Menin Bean. I think it's a really easy way to add a bit of texture and it also elevates the look too because of the sheeny fabric. Now all of the sheeny skirts that I have in my wardrobe are all 100% silk. This one is not, notably. This one is 100% viscose and considering the price, I think it was $2.20 Australian, that is probably not the greatest value for money, but keen to give it a whirl, keen to make a comment as to how it fits. So I got myself the leopard print, as you can see here. It is unlined. There is a side zip closure. Suzanne have many different colors and different prints available too. I think it's just one of those very easy silhouettes. Keen to see how the sandy skirt fits on my frame. cute cut nice and high waisted it's slightly fluted at the hem so it's got that swishy quality about it when you swish around like this the print is also really nice I mean I've just paired it with the Conrad tee as part of the order and yeah I think it works really well I think that this is a really nice outfit I have been on the hunt for a printed silk midi skirt but I'm just not huge on the fabric. I think that I would definitely be a lot more excited about this if this was silk. I mean, I think that this is a nice option if you aren't too fussed about your fabric, but if you are a little bit on the pickier side like me, then you might be slightly disappointed by this one. Having said that, it's a really sweet print and I think the cut is bang on, it's perfect. So works on a petite person, as you can see, it hits me sort of mid calf and yeah no alterations need to be done at all the waist is yeah really quite fluttering as well with the band it provides a little bit more structure a little bit more support around this area so hmm, what do you guys think the lucky last item is another Betty cardigan. <laughs> I have a Betty cardigan problem potentially, but I really liked this sort of contrast stitched version. I think it is so cute. It's sort of like this Madeline collar style. So obviously I got myself the pink one first, but I was tossing up between this one and the pink one and I just decided to get both. I feel like this is a completely different piece to the pink cardigan too. Even though it's the same style technically, the different details and the different color just give it a completely different personality. I've actually previously I previously tried a shirt from Cezanne with this sort of grandma -y, doily type collar. I know that's not the technical term, but I think you can get what I'm saying. And it was a complete fail. And so this might be a complete fail, but I feel like this is a little bit more subtle than the oversized collar that I tried on previously. It looked amazing on the model, but obviously it doesn't always translate in reality. I am hoping that I look just as chic as the model on the website, because I actually have very high hopes for this one. I don't have a black cardigan in my wardrobe, and I feel like this could fill a gap but also be a rather chic option so let us pop the lucky last item on and see what we think it looks almost country western or is it just me considering how amazing it looks on the model i was really hoping that i would love it as much on but i'm not digging it as much. But I think it looks a little bit too whimsical, too much of a novelty for it to be like a classic wardrobe staple. I think it's these little details that are making it look a little bit gimmicky. 
So yeah, I don't know. I think maybe it's also the buttons as well. They're just plain. Whereas the buttons on the other Betty Cardigans I have, they're like that tortoiseshelly type style. So they look a little bit more premium. I mean, I was really excited about this one too. And so I think that this has not lived up to the hype that I had built up in my mind. But having said that, I think this is still a very cool outfit. Like I wouldn't have any issue with this outfit wearing it out and about, but it's just whether or not, you know, I'm keen to keep it. And I don't really know at this stage. This is the first Betty Cardigan that I've tried on that I haven't been absolutely amazed by. So that's a first, but what do we all think? And so that's a wrap guys. That's eight different pieces from Suzanne across two separate orders. I'm now surrounded by boxes and tissue paper, but I hope that this try on was helpful to any of you that have any of these pieces on your radar. All of these pieces form part of Suzanne's signature collection. And so a lot of these pieces you will see released year on year in different colors. So it's nice to be able to try them on and offer a petite perspective. I have done a ton of Suzanne try ons on my channel. So I will link them down below. Many of them also encompass a lot of the signature items that they have. I really love Suzanne pieces. I think that they're excellent quality. And so yes, if you enjoy this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button to let me know. And if you haven't already, then you should subscribe to my channel for more similar unboxings like this. Post videos once every fortnight at the moment. I'm much more active on Instagram, so you should follow me there. But thank you for watching guys, and I'll have everything linked in the description section below. Bye!